As usual, let's start by creating an empty project with all the necessary setup. Now we have already discussed how to set up projects and I have already provided you the boilerplate. Now go to XR and select the AR default phase. So this component or this game object has all the components that is needed for rendering the face mesh. The mesh filter here, the mesh is generated or populated by the script and we need to provide the material inside the mesh renderer. Now I'm going to come to this point just in a bit. But before doing all this, let's go back to the XR origin and create a new component, AR face manager. And we're going to put this AR default face as a prefab. We can delete the main game object. We are going to use the prefab and that prefab should go inside the face prefab inside AR face manager. Now we can create our own filter, but for this time being, we're going to use these examples that Google provides us with their AR core Unity SDK. We're not going to use the SDK, we are using AR Foundation, but we're going to download this repository from GitHub and we can just download the zip. There is a material folder. We can extract that material folder from all these files and drag and drop that material folder into your projects inside Unity, right? So inside our asset, we now have the materials that Google provides as an example. This materials has a few textures and some materials, right? So again, if you want to create your own filter, please let me know in the comment. So I'm going to make videos on that as well. All right. So yeah, for now, let's double click on the AR default phase and that in the prefab, we're going to replace the material with something that Google provides us. Now we need to also make sure in the main camera, we have the facing direction to user, right? So we are using the front camera, not the back camera. And that's it. Now, if we can make a build, we can see how it looks in the actual app. 